Hi, Kalia. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm great, thank you. Okay, wonderful EP you release. Uh, it's uh, it uh, it was on the 26th October. Stay true. Yes. You released it. So we are talking about this first EP, uh, Stay True. The name is really, really good because it uh, represents all you are. Yes, that, for sure. Uh, definitely. I chose that name because, you know, I want to stay true to myself, uh, not just as an artist, but as a person as well. So that's important to me. Yeah, and th that's why I want to ask some question about that later. Uh, first, you are a Jamaican UK uh, rising reggae star. Uh, what are you feeling about this success? Uh, I'm just very grateful. You know, I've always loved music, so to be able to be doing it um, for my job is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and at what uh what uh um years old um age you when you begin the music uh i started recording music at like 15 years old um mm. but you know it wasn't until 2017 when i moved back to jamaica that i really you know things started to get real serious for me mm. you feel it inside you at this time yeah mm. yeah yeah and i you know started putting out like proper music and and things like that at that time. Mm -hmm. You write your own songs and everything. Yes. yes you you play music, you compose music also? Uh, I'm learning the guitar right now, um, but I don't actually play any instruments uh, at the moment. Surely, slowly but surely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You released your uh, debut EP, Stay True, with the produ ex executive producer by a Grammy Awards winner, uh, producer Tony Kelly. Uh, can you talk about your meeting? Uh, yes, I met Tony um, through Shaggy. Uh, I spotted Shaggy while I was out and about, and I built up the courage to, you know, approach him and ask if I could send him some of my music and um, I did and he sent me uh, to Tony he said you know he's the great per perfect producer to bring out your sound because you sound great already and yeah that's that's how I met Tony and the rest is mm. history. Well, when a producer hears some voice or hears some song and the voice also uh, when he thinks uh, it's good uh, there's no matter with uh, connecting new people. That's why uh, music is doing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. He, he saw also your text before hearing you singing? Uh, for Tony? Yes. Uh, well, I think Shaggy sent him some of my music, but I don't think he had listened to it. Um, until I came to the studio and he said he wanted to hear me live. And mm -hmm. uh, so I recorded some song, a song on the day that I met him in person. Mm. You had the connection. Yeah. That's nice. So Stay True is a display of your versatility and songwriting skills. Do you write uh, uh, all your songs from the beginning at the end? Uh, or something you take time to write the beginning of one and you let it and after you write the ending of another one yeah can you it, tell it, us? it varies sometimes um i have so many unfinished songs right now like <laughs> so many like probably hundreds that i've started and just like you know just how i'm gonna do it finish it another time when i'm in the mood and there are songs that like just roll off like I'm just writing and it just you know it comes but I always um start with the chorus you know for any song um and once I have that I build around it but yeah mm -hmm. there are many songs that are not finished as yet <laughs> <laughs> you will you will have the move you will have the mood later and uh, it's like that in the in the head I think for everybody yeah <laughs> yes yes 
<laughs> I do it also. Um, you talk about social issues alongside Tanya Stevens. Uh, mm -hmm. And No Answer, this title, uh, is a Tony Kelly's ID for this featuring? Uh, well, we always wanted to have Tanya on the EP and we had like two songs that we had in mind for her that I already recorded the uh, verse and the chorus and, ooh, excuse me, <laughs> and um, when she came to the studio, we gave her the option to choose and she chose that one and yeah, recorded her verse at the, the same time. So. Um, yeah, we had that concept, you know, before her actually hearing it and, and everything. Okay, so you met her before Tony? Uh, no, to Tony and, um, has known Tanya for a very long time. I met Tanya uh, through her daughter, actually. We were good friends and her daughter um, okay. started doing my makeup at one point. I did not know that her mom was Tanya until she dropped her off one time. And uh, she was like, oh, my mom's dropping me off. And her mom happened to be <laughs> Tanya Stevens. So that, that was, That's um, also the connection like that. Yeah, 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 That's exactly. Wonderful. Do, do you believe in, in that power of the universe to, yes. to, to do the connection between people and to, to make our future? 100%, you know. So, I mean... I still worry sometimes, everybody does, but one thing I do um, remember to just keep me, you know, focused and keep me relaxed is that everything always works out. And mm. everything, like if I think about my life, everything has happened for a reason. And, you know, I'm in these spaces, these places, or I've met this person, um, or I'm here because I'm, you know, I'm going to do this thing and, and it always has ended up working out so i definitely believe that the universe um is is working <laughs> the, the strong of the universe yeah for sure yeah i do also <laughs> um with mortimer um you sing for tender declaration and love and devotion how you met him uh i met mortimer for the first time in person he was performing at um, a Rebel Salute launch, I think, in 2020. But I'd heard his music before that and I fell in love with his voice and, you know, how he writes music. And everybody that knows me, them know say, I love Mortimer. And as soon as I met him, I let him know as well. Like, I'm a big fan. Um, so I always, from the moment I heard his songs, I wanted to do a collaboration with him. Um, and then I wrote this song uh, this year And we were both booked on a Bob Marley um, birthday celebration show. And so at rehearsals, uh, we let him hear it and ask him if he wanted to, you know, bless the song with, with a verse. And he agreed. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. The, the EP talks about also the problems we can meet in our life, in, in life in general, and also about love. With uh, Shaggy, you told it uh, on Double Trouble. Uh, do you think uh, bobs are necessary in a friendship or tender relationship? If, if what is necessary, sorry? Bobs. Little bobs. You know, when you when you say something not good to your partnership. Oh, oh, like, a, okay, <laughs> like a, a argument or a kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's no, no relationship is perfect and no relationship is, it's, it would be weird if you don't have argument. It would be fake, I would think, if you don't have disagreements because no mm. two people are the same. So there's absolutely no way you guys are going to, not like butt heads um <laughs> too much is obviously toxic but it's it's yeah, really about clean, how you... it's uh, too clean <laughs> yeah yeah it's about how you deal with the conflict you know how do you resolve it yeah yeah and conflicts are necessary uh, yes to 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 prove the 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 longer of the relation also yes, and exactly. the love we are inside us to 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 the others that's exactly. it um What can you tell us about the artist that you are? I would say I'm a positive um, artist. You know, if you turn on a playlist that has only Kalia, I would hope that you would feel good 
Um, you'd feel inspired, uh, motivated, and just all good feelings um, in your heart. Yeah. Yes. What about the w woman you are? Um, I would say pretty much very similar, <laughs> you know, um, the songs that I write are in my experience or, you know, sometimes I'm writing music to myself to uplift myself. So yeah, what you hear is really who I am, um, mm -hmm. as a person as well. Your family, your mother or so? Yes. Yeah. So, so... Sorry, say again, my mother is what? You you are a mother also, and you. Oh, give am it I a to... mother? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I thought you were saying about <laughs> not my mother. Yet. Mom. No, not yet. I I don't know if ever. <laughs> <laughs> It's another story. Um, yeah. uh, how long did you take to create this hippie? Um, I, in total, two years. You know, I wanted to do this um, since 2021, like you know, after the first year of the pandemic. And mm -hmm. um, we still kind of hadn't got through that. And so I wanted to do it properly. You know, I didn't want to, I had a vision in mind of how I wanted it to be, how I wanted to release it. And also the songs as well, you know, they had to make sense. So mm -hmm. all in all, it, it took two years to get to the point of release. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, maybe have you had moments of doubt? also oh uh, yeah all the time uh <laughs> last year sorry no this year the the reason i wrote um things in time um it's not actually like me speaking to a loved one or a man it's really a song for friendship um and just for anyone who's really going through a hard time i myself was going through a really really tough time of you know, self-doubt and I don't know what I'm doing. Am I doing the right thing? Is this ever going to um, work? Should I give up? Um, and yes, yeah, so I wrote that song because of those feelings. So it's definitely something that I I do go mm. through myself. Mm. And and you write all your feelings on, on the paper and you sing it after. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Which artist would you like to do a fit with? Uh, right now, I'm going to say, I just, funny enough, I did a, um, I interviewed Queen Omega today. Yeah. Um, and that's some, someone I definitely would love to work with. Her voice is so strong and powerful. Um, and she's also another like positive artist mm -hmm. in the industry. So, yeah, definitely. Um, Samori Ai as well. I love yeah. his voice. Um, Savannah, I love her voice. I love her style. Savannah, as well. yes. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. There are so many. I'm, I might remember when I, <laughs> when I finish this, like, oh, yeah, that person as well. Yeah. Mm. I hope for you soon. Um, so what are you dreaming of now? Uh, at the moment, I'm working on uh, my album, um my new of uh, my debut album it would be um mm. and you know of course we're, we're looking forward to touring in europe for next year summer um and just more shows and, and stuff like that yeah mm. so we will see you al along uh, the france and uh, europe maybe for sure for sure yeah We hope that. So your EP contains seven titles. The lyrics and topics are from your own life experiences, like you said. So each song has uh, its own special place in your heart. But what is your favorite one? Uh, my favorite is Things and Time with Mortimer. Um, uh -huh. As I explained how it came about. So it definitely um, sits dear to me, especially because um, Mortimer... He is someone that I have been wanting to work with. And the one of the reasons I wanted to work with him is how vulnerable he is when he's writing music. And he definitely opened up on this track as well. So, yeah, give thanks. And I, I love the song. Mm, that's a great one. Yeah. So thank you very much for all this, uh, these answers. No problem. Thank you. Do, do you want to add uh, something to your audience? Uh 
just to say thank you to every single person who's, you know, supporting me, um, whether you're day one or day today. <laughs> and yeah. um, everyone who listens to the music, shares it, plays it, just a big, big thank you. We love your show on Instagram. <laughs> you have <laughs> to continue you. that. <laughs> It's addictive. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> thank so, you. Yeah, your voice, your meaning to, 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 to dance and to make us discover your island also. So it's yeah. a wonderful picture from Jamaica. So thank you to you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we hope your album, so maybe in the 2024, the next of this uh, EP. Yes. So will yes. these songs, will these uh, seven songs uh, appear in your next album with all those news? Uh, no, I, I want to do completely new stuff for oh, the next album. That yeah. will be cool. Yeah, <laughs> so more new, new music. News. Okay, so thank you, Kalia. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. See you later.